Hi, welcome back. Today we will study another aspect of Lindan's game, this time his footwork after the serve. Let's first start out with a quick thought experiment. Let me know if you disagree with me, but in order to win the game, you need to win more rallies than your opponent. To win the rally, you need to hit the last good shot in the rally. Then, it's more likely that you hit the last good shot when you hit the first good shot of the rally. And to hit the first good shot, you need to have good footwork to get to that shot. Basically what I'm saying is that after you serve, your footwork to the first shot your opponent hits back can put you at an advantage if it's good, or put you at a disadvantage if it's bad. Let's first see the footwork from serving on the even side to the front left corner. That seems super smooth, right? A lot was actually going on there, so let's break it down. First, during the serve, his left foot is already lifted and on its toes, with his left knee bent. Right after the serve, Lindan does a couple of things. His left foot goes out, and then his right foot shortly follows. As his right foot moves over, he performs a split step by moving back his left foot, widening his stance, and lowering his body, and therefore lowering his center of gravity. You can think of it as him sinking into the next shot. And here's the really nuanced part. He waits until after his opponent hits, before his right foot comes down and he starts moving to the corner. This is so right when both his feet touch the ground during the split step, the bird has already left the opponent's racket and Lindan can use the energy from the split step to move to the shot with a small burst of explosiveness. After the split step, Lindan shuffles twice to get to the shot, with his left foot pushing him forward in both shuffles. Right after hitting the shot, his right foot goes back, his left foot comes in, and he then does a small skip back on his left foot and his right foot goes back, keeping his center of gravity relatively low. And that's how he gets to the front left corner after he serves from the even side. Here are a few additional things I noticed. First, when Lindan is serving, he serves to the same spot each time. I guess that this narrows down the options that the opponent may have, and maybe it also makes Lindan's serve more consistent, because he can use the same stroke for his serve each time. Also, notice how during the whole time, Lindan is on the ball of his left foot. His heel never touches the ground, and I imagine that this lets him push off his foot faster. When making this video, I also got curious if he still does the footwork this way. I looked at the clips I recorded at the 2018 US Open, and he does. I also wondered if other professionals do it this way, and what I found was pretty interesting. Taufik doesn't really move over to the left after he serves, he just stays in the middle. Momota does move to the left, but he moves over with his right foot first. And also, before anyone says something, I know Lindan and Momota are left-handed, but because I'm right-handed, I think it's easier for me to analyze if I mirror the video. Li Chongwei also stays in the middle, like Taufik, and split steps into the shot from the center. So what about going to the front right corner? Well, let's start from the beginning again. Lin Dan serves with his left foot up and his left knee bent, and after he serves, his left foot goes out and his right foot follows. As his right foot moves over, he lifts his left foot up to perform the split step. At this point, his opponent hits a cross court net to Lin Dan's front right corner. And this is the nuance part. His left foot comes down first, and his right foot goes left even further. He then pushes off his left foot, and after that, continues to push off with his right foot. It happened so quick that I didn't even notice until I slowed it down. When both his feet touch the ground, it's crazy how much to the side his center of gravity is. He's leaning so much to get to the next shot. He then crosses over with his feet to get to the shot, and then goes back to the middle, as described earlier. And yeah, that's honestly a lot to take in, and I think it would be worth rewatching a few times. I thought it was really cool when I broke this down step by step because I was able to see the tiny details that were so easy to miss. And you might be asking, what if he guesses wrong? What if the opponent hits to the back? Well, he does this. I think I'll analyze this in a future video. So how does this relate to me? What did I learn from this? Aside from learning how Lin Dan does it, I was curious how I compared. My left foot is lifted while I serve, and it does go out after I serve. 
My right foot doesn't go to the left though, and more importantly, my left heel comes down to the ground when I split step, which I think is slowing me down. Surprisingly, I think I'm doing it more like the way Taufik does it, but now I want to try out Lin Dan's way. Hopefully you'll be able to see this in the next progress analysis video. After taking the time to study this aspect of footwork, there are still a few questions I have. I'd love to hear your thoughts. It seems like professionals usually push to the back on the serve return. Why? For example, in the first half of the first set of this match, Lin Dan and Taufik return the serve with a push to the back more than 80% of the time. Is it because netting back a serve gives the opponent too many options? After all, when you hit a net shot, you're at the front and the back is all open. Second, from the videos I reviewed, even though Lin Dan's opponents hit to the back more often, why does he still position his feet as if to go to the front? I see this with other professionals as well. Maybe he has his footwork like this because it's more efficient to switch from this footwork to going to the back than it is to have the back footwork to go to the front. I really don't know. And that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I had a lot of fun making this video and I hope you learned something too. I definitely did. If you'd like to support me, please consider liking and subscribing. As you can see, this is still a really small channel and I'm making these videos in my spare time when I'm not working. Your support will motivate me to keep making more videos. Anyway, please leave any comments, questions, or suggestions you may have in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.